Hi, hello, good evening. Today we are going to learn an important lesson in Revit rebar. So we are going to learn rebar schedule or bar bending schedule in Revit. I'm going to show you how to do it. So here is an example. Uh, so we have uh, bending detail and uh, each segment length and the total bar length also we have and the bar diameter bar type we have and we also have uh, the schedule mark and the partition okay all right let me show you how to do it so in this project uh, i have few rebar modeled you can see here these rebars are modeled once you finish modeling the rebar then you can take rebar schedule you can also take a rebar schedule before modeling the rebar so the schedule will look empty that's it so you can do either before or after the rebar placement no problem so let's go to schedule schedule and quantity so in this rebar so we cannot take a material quantity material take off if you go to material take off you won't find a, a structural rebar category you won't find but if you go to schedule and quantities you will get structural rebar category structural rebar category we have just to select the rebar category in case if you want to count uh, the number of couplers then you can go here okay so for everything we have separate category so in case if you want to uh, schedule everything in one list then you can go for multi category but you will get all the common uh, parameters only so you should keep it in mind let's select rebar structural rebar category you can give any name okay you can give any name you can also select the face and if you say okay then we'll get the parameters dialog box this a b c d these are segment length so let's select a b c and d in case if you want you can add uh, additional also so mostly four or five segment length should be fine and then so we don't need a hook length in case if you think um, uh, you want to check if you want to check the entire uh, parameter list then you can select everything and then you can check so what is giving what you can you can check okay so here I'm going to add a partition and then the hooks we are not using in case if you use hooks then you can uh, select uh, a hook length and a hook detail so here I'm going to select a schedule mark and then shape I need shape and bending detail I need bending detail after that I need um, bar length and um, total bar length total total bar length if you need a type you can also select type so let's bring this down and once you say ok then you will get the schedule so now i have uh, taken a schedule i can close i have to go to a uh, new sheet and this is my sheet i can just uh, drag and drop the schedule just to drag and drop and you can see what i get so if you see for this stirrups i have uh, parameters up to f so g column is 
zero in all the rows so i can hide g double click and then go to g and then hide all right so whatever the information i don't need then i can just hide them so this partition for an example um, i'm keeping it here in case if you want to add anything in the partition parameter you can add for example if you go to 3d for example let's say so this entire uh, layout so i have selected the one set of rebar in case if i want to give a new name for the selection then i can give a name in partition for example here it looks empty so i can give a new name enter so now now this rebar will have a separate set of numbers and other rebars will have a separate set of numbers so if you want to check the rebar number then you can go to structure go to reinforcement here go for reinforcement number so when you are going to reinforcement number so here you can see the partition name and uh, you can also give a, a separate number okay so this is giving just to number one because all the bars in the set is in equal length and uh, I, the same reinforcement is used so that's why we are seeing just a single number in case if it is a varying rebar then you will get um, um, different numbers okay so you should know how to uh, give partition in rebar set i'll try it okay so this video is for rebar schedule only in case if you want to shuffle the column uh, sequence then you can double click go to field if you want to bring the partition down you can bring it down mostly the partition parameter is used to filter the schedule so we can keep this as hidden let's go to formatting keep the partition as a hidden field so it is there but it's hidden and um, schedule mark and shape we have okay that's it just update the schedule then close and yeah, then the schedule is modified now so we have the schedule mark and uh, shape and bending detail bar length and we also have total length in case if you want to have a, a total of total length then you can also do that double click go to formatting go for um, total bar length and calculate total so here go to sorting and grouping and then add grand total just a total only okay so now we have the total bar length so grand total we have the total bar length okay so this is how we have to create a schedule in case if you have any doubt in creating the a rebar schedule then please let me know i will make another video for you thank you bye bye